Good afternoon. My name is Julian Glenn Paget. People call me Luke. I have been fortunate enough to be involved in Shakespeare since its inception here in 2006, when Soraya Keating and Leslie Curry from Marin Shakespeare came in and they said, we want Shakespeare to be accessible to everybody. It is wonderful to have you here today at San Quentin to experience the honesty, the love, the trust, and the family of this community. We of San Quentin Shakespeare take these times upon ourselves to work on ourselves through Shakespeare. I can't imagine that he wrote this stuff years ago saying, hey, they're going to perform this at San Quentin. <laughs> but we do. So thank you. And this, all life exempt from public haunt, finds tongues in trees, books in running brooks, sermons in stones, and good in everything. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Azrael Big As Ford, otherwise known as the ugly duckling with the heart of a swan. I grew up in a world of adversity where drugs and crime ruled the day. And as a young boy, I taught myself how to shield myself from hurt using anger and rage. I was blinded by pessimism. And instead of seeing the good in the world, I only looked at it with contempt. This is how I lived my life for many years, fueled by hatred. And then I ended up at San Quentin State Prison. And I tried acting in a Shakespeare class. And I was amazed when I remembered that I could laugh, I could have fun. And in drama therapy, I found a community of men that were using life's adversity to inspire hope. And I also learned that the whole world is a stage. And if we would all just take the time to stop and play together like we did when we were children, we could create a show of beautiful love and peace. Thank you. A thee, my dear one, thee, my daughter, who art ignorant of what thou art, not knowing of whence I am, nor that I am more better than Prospero, the master of a full poor cell. Hi, my name is Nate Collins, and those lines were from The Tempest by William Shakespeare. I joined Shakespeare many years ago for many different reasons. However, I never thought that this class would teach me how to be vulnerable, connected me with my feelings and deep emotions. Character development is important to acting and adulthood. So as I continue to develop as an actor and as a person of integrity, accountability, and responsibility, traits I'll be defined by long after the show is over. It's through drama therapy and Shakespeare that I find healing. Thank you. All right. Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turret with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. Hello, America. <laughs> My name. Lemar Harrison, but on stage, y'all know me as Maverick. What you just witnessed was an abbreviated adaptation of Mark Anthony's soliloquy from Shakespeare's The Life and Death of Julius Caesar. Through the vision of my instructors, the incomparable Soraya Keating and Miss Leslie Currier, yeah. Yeah. I was chosen to take on the role of Mark Anthony. In this role, I experienced the pains of peer pressure, bullying, and betrayal. Can you imagine, at an early age, mind you, being forced by societal influences to be someone 
You didn't want to be? I can. Mm. I walked a mile in those shoes. That's probably why I was able to feel Mark Anthony's pain with both hands. This role, no, this program has allowed me to explore and address all these traumatic issues. The very traumatic issues that led me here. The very traumatic issues that made me realize if I could transform myself, maybe, just maybe, I can help transform the world and earn a shot at redemption. Thank you, brother. I go to do I know not what, but it suffices me. The brutus lead me on. Oh, my name is Richard Morris, and I was privileged to participate in the San Quentin production of The Life and Death of Julius Caesar. In that play, I played Senator Caius Ligarius. Caius Ligarius, in his blind following of Brutus, participated in the murder of Julius Caesar. In doing this, he brought down the very republic that he professed to love. I look at this, and I can't help but see a parallel in my own life. And in this, I'm made to understand that at 54 years old, it's now my responsibility to be careful, to be wise in the choices I make and the people that I am willing to follow and into what causes, and to also consider the effect my actions have upon my community. For that, I thank you. Crammed these words into my ears against the stomach of my sense. Would I had never married my daughter, therefore coming thence, my son is lost. And she too, who is so far from Italy removed, I ne'er again shall see her. Oh, thou mine heir of Naples and of Milan, what strange fish hath made his meal on thee? Those are a few lines from William Shakespeare's The Tempest. I joined Shakespeare at San Quentin, presented by Marin Shakespeare, on a dare. <laughs> it's true. For years, my buddy said, hey, Chris, come to Shakespeare, man. I said, Shakespeare's a clown. <laughs> now I am, too. And I love it. Why do I have to see you? Makes me yearn for more. Here I am, stuck in blue. Feelings I need ignore. You caught my eye and stole my heart. By meeting your eyes, my soul did start. Were I hard favored, foul, wrinkled old, ill nurtured, crooked, churlish, harsh in voice, overworn, despised, rheumatic, cold? Then mightest thou have paused, for then I were not for thee. But having no defects, why dost thou bore me? <clears throat> forbid, weary seven nights, nine times nine, shall he dwindle, pink nor pine? Though his bark cannot be lost, he shall have attempted to toss. My name is Antoine Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Antoine, and joining the Marine Shakespeare Company here at St. Quentin, I realized I've always been an actor. 
how I acted with my family wasn't how I acted with my friends. How I acted with my friends wasn't how I acted with my teachers. And how I acted with my teachers wasn't how I acted in the streets. Yet, how I acted in the streets wasn't who I truly was. William Shakespeare revealed to me that with one face comes many characters. It's just how we choose to use those characters will ultimately shape us and the world around us. I, that I will, and I will be wiser hereafter and seek for grace. What a thrice double ass was I to take this drunk before God and worship this dull fool. My name is Rennell Draper. I go by Roach. That was on the Caliban's line from The Tempest. I joined Shakespeare because I was interested, intrigued, and it was being done in a prison. In the, in the process of being in here, I found out that I had a lot of um, issues I needed to work on. Interpersonal skills, trust issues, and anger problems. I, I have done the deed. I heard the owls shriek and the crickets cry. I did not just speak. When? Uh, no. As I descended. I. Hark, hark. Who lies in the second chamber? Don't obey. This is a sorry sight. Not foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one did, did laugh and sleep, and the other cried murder. Consider it not so deeply. Methought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep, the innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the rabble sleeve of care, the death of each day's life. Soul labors bare, the bloom of hurt mind, great nature's second course. 